2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers. Doris Burke here at the table and on the sideline, David Aldridge. We'll see the 90s team taking on the 2000s team. Here's Iverson. Now the starting group for the visitors. Bryant outside. Oh, they get a hand on it. Here's Stockton. Here's the floater. Iverson with a rebound. Pass to O'Neal. From 11 feet away, and that's good. His first bucket of the game. You know, that's exactly how they wanted to run that possession, guys. Beautiful. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. There's 14 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Olajuwon. Just four to shoot. Pass to Stockton. Let's the three fly. He can't get it to go. Well, good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. The 2000s team zero up two. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And from what we've seen here from the home team, what's your take so far? It's simple. The main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense. Yeah, I agree. I mean, look at the energy, the effort defensively. They put it all out there in that opening quarter. Outside Peyton. To the right side. Here's Malone. Six to shoot. Here's Pippen. Count it. One for one to start the game. Sometimes it's simple. Put the ball in the hands of your scorers and let them do what they do best. And that replay showed how sensational that drive truly was. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Now, here is James. Pass to Iverson. Got a piece of it. Here's Pippen. Checked by James. Here's Drexler. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. First Boy, Drexler is a physical First matchup for just about any defender. Draws a lot of Happy fouls and whistles. Team. Clyde Drexler. Two shots. One falls for him. And so he hits both. Free throw shooting comes into focus in tight games. As usual, he's up to the task. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. The 90s team up two. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Make 
some noise for your second half of basketball is upon us and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far Here's Stockton. Pass to Jordan. Here's Stockton. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. I don't think that was the ideal choice to make for a foul in this situation. Stockton is a pretty efficient shooter from the line. John Stockton at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Good on that one. Tell you what, if you let me pick just one point guard to run my offense, man, you could not go wrong with John Stockton. He might be my first pick. He's a prototypical textbook point guard. He does not get the second one. James. And he lobs it up top. Just get it anywhere in Shaq's vicinity, and he's going to finish it off. I love seeing him hammer home the alley oop. Here's Pippen. Here's Stockton. Here's Jordan. It's good from about 19 feet. An effective score from the in between area of the court. Jordan doing his thing. Here's Iverson. An easy two on the layup. Pound for pound. I don't know if there's a tougher player than Allen Iverson. From deep. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. Third quarter comes to a close, and a battle brings it to a tie. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling here on 2K Sports. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. Pass to Nash. Let's go with a three. Tries to save it. They get it back. Another shot. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Yao is such a big guy. And his physicality that time rewarded. Shooting for your 2000s team. Yao Ming. Two shots. He sinks the clutch free throw. And Ming, boy, I tell you, this guy is so big. He's a dominant force who also has a touch that belies his size. This guy is a real force at both ends. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. Not an A-plus trip to the line, but he did get them the lead. And it's Jordan, and it's shooting guard. Well, Jordan has been fantastic. 
All right, guys, what's your take? And it would be smart to go for a two for one right now. Fans, you're against me. Robinson, he's checked in for O'Neill. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Greg Popovich's level. And with every possession being critical, he was clear with his team. Quote, this is what we prepared for. Keep your focus, stay in the moment, and execute. He believes that's the path to victory, guys. And Allie, thank you for that. Here's Yao. Goes back up. Oh, he nails it! Time <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. Cool, mm -hmm. calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game? Yes. Guys, what do you think? It's always interesting to see what play a coach has saved for a situation like this. And we call those ATOs, or plays run after a timeout. They often make the difference in the game. And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game. It's almost beyond belief what he's done in this game. He's been impossible to pull off, hitting just about everything he looks at. It doesn't matter who's guarding him. He's had an answer for just about everyone. Right side, Robinson. Got a piece of it. Love seeing O'Neal use his body to come up with those blocks. An imposing force. He's a pretty consistent good defender as well. And so they foul intentionally. Second and a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. No, he got a foul. I mean, it's going to come down the free throws here. One foul right away. He drops the first one, and that'll put him up two. You can really tell Iverson approaches the game with a single-minded focus. Can be intimidating trying to defend a guy with his level of skill and determination. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. That last free throw was critical. Their only choice now is to go for the three to tie. All right, guys, what's your take? I think they should have prepared for this scenario. Little time, need a three. Of course, the defense will be defending the line, but nobody said it was going to be easy. You got to try to find a way. The visitors with the ball. Stockton. Oh, bang! Pulling the three. Oh, an enormous three-pointer. from deep three-point land. Oh, it's good! Are you kidding me? Oh, it's my good. goodness. That's how you beat the clock. Unbelievable shot. I have no idea how he can set the ball. Well, I think I've seen it all now, guys. And nothing's going to top that, I don't think. And so the home crowd treated to a win. That was an incredible night of hoops. A tremendous finish. They waited until the very last moment to seal it. And so many times we see these close games won by the home team. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Clark Kellogg, this is Brian Anderson thanking you all for tuning in tonight. So long, everybody.